Hello friends, welcome to Simplified Biology. Today's topic is polygenic inheritance. Now in polygenic inheritance, two or more pairs of non-allelic genes are responsible for a character. Non-allelic genes are responsible for a character. Now in this, each dominant gene added means according to the number of dominant genes present, they will add to the character. Means the dominant genes show additive effect. Final result will be the cumulative effect of all dominant genes present. Cumulative means together effect of all dominant genes present. Such genes are known as polygenes and such type of inheritance is referred as polygenic inheritance. A polygenic inheritance is also known as multiple gene interaction. Polygenic inheritance was first discovered by Nelson Ale in wheat. Galton studied it in man while Kohlreuter is the father of polygenic inheritance. Examples of polygenic inheritance are height of man, skin color of man, kernel color of wheat, size of grain and so on. A polygenic inheritance is a quantitative inheritance that is affected by an environment. The genes do not follow the law of dominance. That is why an additive effect can be seen. And the offsprings produced show continuous variation. Means the offspring cannot be divided into two distinct character categories, but they are divided into a range of categories. That is, they show continuous variation. Now let's take an example. Kernel color in wheat, for which two pairs of non-allelic genes are responsible. When four dominant genes which show red color green are crossed with four recessive genes which show white color green. In the F1 generation where two dominant genes are present, all the grains produced will be of medium color. Now when the F1 generation is self-fertilized, in this case 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio as seen in Mendelian inter inheritance cannot be seen. Now these are the gametes of one parent and these are the gametes of the other parent. When these two are crossed, the F2 ratio is 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1. Means in one case, all four are dominant, that is this case. In four cases, three are dominant. These four cases... In six cases, two are dominant, means these six. In four cases, one is dominant, means these four. And in one case, neither of them is dominant. So the F2 ratio, you can see, depends upon the number of dominant genes present. It doesn't matter whether they are A or B. Now let's take another example skin color in man for which three pairs of non-allelic genes are responsible. Means they are two dominant A, two dominant B and two dominant C. When all six are present, they are the Negroes. When all are recessive, they are the American whites. Now when these two are crossed in the F1 generation, all the offsprings produced have an in-between color where three dominant genes are present and they are referred as mulattoes. Now when the F1 generation is self-fertilized, now both of them will produce eight types of gametes and hence 64 offsprings. These are the gametes of one parent while these are the other. Now in this case, the F2 ratio is 1 is to 6 is to 15 is to 20 is to 15 is to 6 is to 1. 
means in one case all six are dominant in six cases five are dominant in 15 cases four are dominant in 20 cases three are dominant in 15 cases two are dominant in six case one is dominant and in one case neither of them is dominant now in this punnett square it will be more clearer now this in this case six are dominant while in this six cases five are dominant now these are four dominant in these cases three are dominant in these cases two are dominant and in these cases one is dominant and the last no is no one is dominant so the ratio is 1 is to 6 is to 15 is to 20 is to 15 is to 6 is to 1. Now how polygenic inheritance is different from Mendelian inheritance? In Mendelian inheritance it is two or more alleles of a single gene that is responsible for a character. While in case of polygenic inheritance, it is two or more pairs of non-allelic genes responsible for a character. Mendelian inheritance is qualitative inheritance, while polygenic inheritance is quantitative inheritance. In Mendelian inheritance, discontinuous variation is seen, means the offsprings produced can be divided into two distinct classes. Like in case of height of the plant, it is either tall or dwarf. While in case of polygenic inheritance, continuous variation is seen. You cannot divide the offspring into two distinct classes that is tall and dwarf. A range of heights can be seen. So that is continuous inheritance. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.